up guys what up it's your base Sophie coming at you all right so it's currently 7 30 um and I'm doing this video in the darkness with my iPad open because it's the only energy that I have right now um the thing is we live in Venezuela my parents need to move here because of work um and right now, there are some crises going on with water, Wi-Fi, and the energy. Um, so at 3.55 p.m., uh, the lights went out in the entire city of Caracas. So that means when I got home at 3.50, I needed to walk up eight, eight floors up, because I live in floor eight, in a pretty big building, which isn't the best thing to do be in at this time and there wasn't any water there wasn't water at all there's no energy at all and there's no wi-fi so i couldn't do my homework i couldn't drink water or take a bath and wait as i was saying uh when i got home i couldn't really do anything else so uh, I'm still waiting. I'm home alone, and there's no energy at all. I needed to go down, because it was getting scary in my apartment, and I couldn't be here alone without energy or security at all. So, I just came up. I just came up. And I had the great idea that I could turn on my iPad to give me some light to do this video today. So, I want to talk about the Venezuelan crisis. Me being as a being a kid I don't really have the the I don't have the the dynamics to to leave this country by myself, you know? And I can't really say to my parents, Oh, I'm leaving with or without you to the US back to my hometown. I can't do that, so I need to stay here. But personally, not that I don't like it because my parents are from here. But between you and me, Venezuela has declined so much in the past four years. This year has been the worst of all, with the presidential election, and they chose Maduro over like Chavez, which died, unfortunately. This country is going into a big war, and I'm pretty sure that one of these days, everything will, my school will probably need to close for a few days. The energy will go out, the water go out, the Wi-Fi, which, again, I need that to live, the Wi-Fi will go out for at least two days, and the, the city won't be able to move, right? So, I'm still waiting here. I know it's easy for you to talk, like, oh, why is she t saying that? Because I've been to, I've heard that Venezuela is a great place and shit. Well, it is a great place, but the economics here isn't that we're in, an, in the middle of an economic crisis. And I'm pretty sure that I don't want to be here at this time, like trying to, to cook or trying to take a bath and know that the water will go out soon. You may need to rush to do everything before that time, you know? Um, and well... I thank God, I thank my family to, for doing this hard work to actually pay everything to make sure that I'm in a good condition. But still, um, what just happened, the four hours of not having any electricity nor water, that's bad. And that's for everyone in this city. This city is pretty big. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Also, my day was great today. I really liked it. Um, people came, all my friends came back from Daimun, The Hague. They said it was an amazing trip. They actually liked it. They went to Brussels and to Madrid. And they were like, these places, they have never gone there. They thought it was like a good, a good opportunity to use it as a, college app option you know when you do the college app put it there boom i went to diamond 
um, they actually, they said that anyone that's in 10th grade, next year, 11th grade, we should totally go. Like, all classmates. You don't need to do much in the in time. So if you don't really like to talk or anything, and you just want to go, like, to enjoy and to do something different, go ahead, do it. I mean, I went last year and it was pretty good. And, well, yeah. Um, so my friends came back, so I'm not alone. Uh, I had basketball practice today. And tomorrow, first thing in the morning, I got basketball practice again. So I got to get my rest. My, my rest, yeah. And, uh, yeah, everything was good. Um, we, we had two tests, though. But two exams. The first one was Spanish, which was really easy. It was part A. Part B, we're doing it on Thursday. And it was like, oh, come on, this is easy. You know? The, the, the exams that they put you like in 10th, like in 8th grade, and you're just like, yo, this is like, like 5th grader stuff. You know? That type of thing. It was pretty easy. It was okay. And then I had a math exam that was, it was also easy, but it was kind of annoying because it was long. So, in the middle of the paper, you were like, this is easy. Are we almost done? No, another page. Yay. You know? So, yeah. Everything was great today. Um. Oh. I'm going... I don't know if that, like... I know Brazil does it. I don't know if the U.S. has, like, this carnival vacation. It's a four-day weekend where we can do whatever the fuck we want. Many, like, most of my friends are going back to the U.S., but I'm staying here, and I'm going to Aruba, to the beach. Yay! You know? Um, so yeah, uh, we have a four-day weekend. No, yeah, four-day weekend. Um, and well, my parent, my dad and me are going on a camping to the beach. So we're taking everything. Don't say anyone, but we're gonna take a, a rifle. Like a hunting rifle, which is, it was my dad's and he gave it to me so I could like start practicing for when I actually go hunting with my kids in the future and shit. So we're going to take the rifle with us. We're going to go into the beach, which has a mountain like next to it, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, we had, we were planning that since like last year. and It's going to be great. I know that for sure. So stay tuned for Friday because I'm going to start vlogging every fucking day. Uh, all four days I'm going to be vlogging at least twice a day. Alright? Um, so yeah. Uh, what else? I think I don't have anything else to say. Oh yeah. Question of the day. What? Wait, no. Okay, I got two questions. The first one is, if you're doing any varsity sports, what sport are you doing? And if you have something called Kaisa, Kaisa, Kaisa tournaments. Um, well, I'm doing varsity basketball since last year. And I've been, for Kaisa, I've been to Trini, Trinidad and Tobago. And this year I'm doing, I'm going to Quito, Ecuador, um, to El Colegio Cotopaxi, which They've told me it's a big school. I've never been there. My brother has, and he said that it's, it's amazing. Like, it's high. Like, you get high. When you get there, the first thing they give you are, like, oxygen masks. Because the height is so much for us that we can't really control it. And the sec the when I went to Trini, it was amazing, too. It was like, oh, it was... It was paradise. It was amazing. So, what varsity sports are you doing? Which season? Or if you already did it? And if you're having Kaisa tournaments? And the second question of the day is... If you have any break coming soon, where are you going? As I said, I'm going to the beach with my dad um, on a ca uh, camping thing. Uh, a camping trip. So, it's going to be great. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It was a quick thing. Plus, I'm a, I don't have lights, so 
I'm not in the mood to actually do stuff. Um, but for now, I think that's all. So, deuces. Bye.